Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to show the error notification messages. See in, in a programming or in, in any type of scripting, we need to show the error messaging. For example, if we are not sure that the user will put a correct value or by mistake a wrong value will be inserted so in that case we need to show a error message notification let me show you how it is shown and we can put it anywhere for example whenever there is a chance of entering wrong data and the function can be called in if condition also for example if else if there is no value in that case we can call this function now let me show you the scripting here it is see here function right now i have added this in the before load now see some variable equal to false now if there is no some variable if we have not received any value and the user has submitted that value submitted that form so in that case variable my custom error error dot create name name of that error and the message and then this will write error this and wrong parameters type selected to the log so you will see a log also inside that log error equal to error my custom error dot name and message you can write down the name and the message through my custom error so let me show you with an example i have uploaded this error notification scripting here and i have applied uh, applied this on here look at this deployment on my uh, sales order form so sales order form now i am going to click here new sales order form now as soon as uh, it is clicked now we have applied this in before load that means before the page load this error is shown wrong parameter type and here the wrong parameter type selected so this is just an example you can apply it anywhere for example at the time of form submission after submit you can apply it on after submit and then you make a check that whether the variable is correct or not or if he has entered the right variable or not it is used for uh, conditional checking also for example like shipping carrier now shipping carrier we want for every time uh, we can say ups or any type of a shipping carrier we, a particular shipping carrier we want to be inserted so in that case we can use this if and else condition if that particular shipping carrier is not equal to whatever we wanted in that case we can use this so this is how i have just uh, shown you the example of before load i have applied it on before load you can use it on after submit also or in the middle of the form also so anywhere you can use it so this is how it is used my custom error error dot create here n slash error then name of that error and the message of that error and in this way we can use it so you try it on your side and uh, let me know if you face any difficulty or any problem and then i will try to resolve it you can write down in the comment box so this is also most important to how to show the error message notification so guys keep practicing on it and you can watch my other previous videos also and uh, please subscribe my channel thanks for watching the video Thank you.